Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com and today I'm going to teach you all about ebooks in regards to Microsoft Edge. Now, with the creator's update released last year, Microsoft unveiled an e-reading app inside of Microsoft Edge. It was pretty basic at the time, but over, uh, the, over the coming months, they've added many new features uh, to it. A lot of people are not sure about how they read ebooks in Microsoft Edge, and this is with good reason. We load up Edge here, and where's the ebook section? I don't see any ebook tabs. I don't see anything in here. What's settings? Is, is it here? No. Inexplicably, you have to press control Q and this will load up any of the books that you've purchased from the Microsoft bookstore. If you're not aware, Microsoft has a bookstore in this, uh, you know, in their book section. It's pretty recent. Uh, it's only in the US right now. So if you live outside the US, you can't really purchase eBooks, but you can download samples, but none of the samples actually appear here. Only the eBooks that you've purchased do. So Edge allows you to import in eBooks from your own personal collection. Now I have my books here associated with Adobe Digital Editions and I want to open up with Edge because I don't want to just always go like this, open with, open with Edge. So what you do, and this is a little trick, you go to click on the, the Windows icon and you click apps and features. I just clicked apps and that loads it up. What you can do is you can associate a specific like ebook format with Edge. So I clicked on default apps and it says choose default apps by file type. That's what I want to do. And it's loading because it's pretty well loading every file type like on my PC right now. And it's like endlessly scrolling. I just can't type like E to find EPUB, I gotta, I gotta manually scroll. So I'm going to left click and it loads up some options here. I'm going to click on Microsoft Edge. Now it's just associated any EPUB on my computer with Edge. And I'm going to click on a book and here we go. So this is the ebook experience in Edge. And the reason why you would read ebooks on Edge is if you have a Surface, if you have a two-in-one, if you have a laptop, if you have a lot of, you know, mobile devices, even smartphones that have Edge, uh, you can do it this way. So this is the ebook experience. Now, where are the font options? I, from the screenshots, said there's fonts and everything here. Where are they? Well, you click on the bottom. Here's a bunch of options table of contents so you can jump around if you want it'll show you the notes so any notes that you took so you could delete notes if you want to and get brought right to where you took your note leading here you have text size so if you make the text larger instead of two page spread you just get one page spread you can adjust the text spacing You can adjust the font style. So there's many different fonts available now. So you can go Georgia, relax, because I'm kind of feeling chilled right now. Books default says Times New Roman. You can go with the page theme. The default is white on black, but you can go to sepia or nighttime reading mode. Uh, Cortana will read you aloud. And he ate it, looked at the telephone, lay on the bed. Basic. You can actually save the ebook as a different format if you want to, or like a different name. Store it locally on your drive, forget where it is. You can set up a bookmark. And you can delete them as well. You can go full page if this is something that you desire. And you can turn pages and how to read in full screen view, kind of eliminate all the UI on Windows. 
if you say want to highlight this, you can click it and there's a highlight thing here. There's just a few different colors. Now, instead of what we did is we highlighted something and you got the, these options here, but what does this really mean? Underline, add a note, copy, ask Cortana, share. But if you right click on it, you actually get more options here. So you can read it aloud, ask Cortana and it'll search for that. Inspect element if you wanted to. And it'll give you all the metadata for like this book. Really only the hardcores would probably kind of want to do that. So this is the ebook experience for Edge. That's how you import books, associate e the EPUB or other ebook formats with Edge. Some of the limitations of the app, it doesn't really uh, provide you with a, a library shelf with your stored content. Uh, luckily that when you say close the app and you click on the book, it does pick up where you left off. So that's tremendously useful. So it remembers where you are in a book. Any questions, concerns, or anything else about uh, EPUBs and Microsoft Edge, drop a comment below. Forgettyreader.com. My name is Michael, and everybody take care.